Chris here. Today we're going to take a, a little bit of time to look at the Hillrom Medineb. The Medineb is being used more and more in facilities today. Um, small volume nebulizer type functions as well as functions similar to IPBB as well as some hybrid features where we have an oscillatory uh, frequencies that can be set, uh, uh, set up to provide vibratory type therapy along with your medication administration. So let's take a look at the setup itself. Um, the Medineb comes with a disposable circuit. As you can see, it has an attachment for a small volume nebulizer. We have our Salters Lab nebulizer here. It has a built-in mouthpiece here. Um, and of course the filter um, and multiple connections on this end of the circuit. So simply come up to the Medineb and you'll line up uh, the, th the three uh, ports and twist. There's some um, uh, uh, instructions here on the front of that filter to instruct you on how to lock the uh, circuit into place. So once that's done, uh, the Medineb actually has an on-off switch here in the, the top portion of the device. It is pneumatically controlled, but it does have an on-off switch. So we'll turn the Medineb on right now. And first off, we're just going to provide a regular type of flow aerosol um, administration, similar to what you would do with a um, SVN. So we turn that on and we can adjust the flow. This is the flow control. And as you can see, we've got medication emitting from the nebulizer. And again, we can adjust the flow there and provide a very nice effective small volume nebulizer treatment. But there wouldn't be a lot of value in that. With the Medineb, we can do some additional functions. First off, we can utilize here the lower uh, selection is continuous positive expiratory pressure. So we can provide a pressure um, uh, against the lung while the patient is breathing in medication. So I'll demonstrate that now. We'll flip the switch over to um, the continuous uh, expiratory pressure and then we can dial that pressure in as we move the dial forward, we're getting more and more flow and more and more back pressure. So that's one of the features that's very helpful in lung expansion therapy, as well as we can flip the switch back up to the oscillatory or vibratory effect. We'll, we'll do that now by flipping that up. As you can hear, we have a high frequency oscillator, oscillator type of a frequency. And we have two settings. That's the fast setting. And we can also slow it down. And there's another slower setting there. So two settings are faster and a slower uh, high frequency type of a, of a pulse. Now we also have a manometer here that while the patient is uh, being delivered the medication, um, we can see the expiratory pressures and utilize the flow to maximize the pressure that we're, we're administering to the patient. And one final uh, uh, feature here, there's an entrainment device here at the at, near the mouthpiece. There's three settings and you can entrain some room air through the venturi here in three different settings to increase the flow rate. So you do have a couple additional settings there. Normally the MD will order uh, the Medineb and the medications and the respiratory therapist will uh, assess the patient to determine what type of feature would be uh, best for that patient. Are we looking at a patient that has some uh, 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 atelectasis, some lung collapse? Are we providing just a normal uh, preventative type of a treatment? Um, again, we might have some specific uh, situations where thick secretions, where the vibratory effect might be very, very helpful. Uh, so again, the um, Medineb, very, very helpful, very, very useful device, new on the market, made by Hillrom. Now the downsides are the circuits are fairly expensive. Uh, most facilities will use the circuits for several days before discarding them. Um, again, the nebulizers are a standard nebulizer that can be um, placed on this device. You can use many different manufacturers. You don't have to use the Salter Lab. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and grab the camera and get a little closer to the Medineb before we conclude this session. Close-up views of the controls of the Medineb. So there are the close-up of the controls. You can see the different uh, high frequency settings here, um, right here from the high, low settings, the different, the toggle switch between small volume neb to oscillatory to regular continuous expiratory pressure uh, there. Um, there is the connections for the circuit as I described earlier. And then of course, as we come to the back of the mini neb, we're gonna see 
the on off switch, which is right here, as well as the connection for your source gas. So you don't necessarily have to use air uh, with the Medi Neb. Uh, you can use oxygen or air, whichever um, the practitioner feels is uh, most appropriate. So again, very flexible, very dynamic tool. You're seeing uh, this being used more and more. It's so flexible and it can add different aspects to your therapy um, uh, while you're giving your bronchodilator. So the MediNip, I hope that was helpful, everyone. And until next time, be well.